Welcome back to Google Foods, everybody. I want to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. Today, we are rocking the Philly cheesesteak. Check it out. There's something about steak, melted cheese, and bread that is just incredible. And the guys from Philadelphia knows how to do it best. Today, I'm going to show you a twist on the old classic Philly cheesesteak. And I hope you enjoy it. So let's do it. This cook is 100% inspired by my trip that I took to Philadelphia. That city is just awesome. And the folks there with wonderful personality is just great. I had an awesome opportunity to visit two of the classics, Pat's and Gino's. Even though I think they are completely different from each other, I think they are both great in their own ways. I noticed that both of them use ribeye. One is a little bit more chopped up than the other, and for sure they are not using high-grade steak. I can almost guarantee it is choice or select. Another thing that I noticed on Pat's is that there was no seasoning. The fact that there was no salt and pepper was surprising to me. Now, if they season it before putting on the grill, that's something I was not able to see. But let me tell you something, when I tasted both of them, they were great. However, they were completely different from each other. This is one of those things that I recommend you giving it a try and you should try both to make your decision on which one is best. I could eat any one of them any day, but now let me show you my take on it. Today I'll be using ribeye just like they are, and these are two beautiful choice steaks. Every ribeye specifically on the cap section has a lot of connective tissue and silver skin. Some of the silver skin is really hard, and to make it a pleasant experience with our Philly cheesesteaks, I am going to be removing it. When I say I'm going to remove it, I'm not going to remove anything else but that. Just grab a nice sharp fillet knife and take it out. Once I was done, you can see there was a good amount of fat left over. It's pretty straightforward, you just gotta scrape it to ensure that you're not leaving any of the goodness behind. Once I was done, the only things left were the connective tissue and silver skin. The next step is to slice the steak. I definitely recommend you freezing the steak first. This steak is too soft and hard to slice it thin. If it was slightly frozen, it will be a lot easier and I will show you that in a little bit. Now I noticed that in Pat's, the steaks are a lot more minced than in Gino's. So for the traditional Philly cheese steak, I'll be going with Pat's style, which is finely minced. Now we don't want to make burgers. If we run this through a grounder, then it will just be burgers. So I just like to get a nice knife and chop it up fine. This knife works okay, but if you have a bigger one like this, now we're talking. This knife is awesome for hamburgers as well. Once I was done, to my eyes, it looks exactly like Pat's. It is not ground beef, it is finely chopped ribeye. Now this method is a lot easier with a partially frozen steak. My knife just runs through it like butter. This steak was on my freezer for only 45 minutes, and it is enough time for you to slice them thin. Once I was done, it almost looked like I ran them through a slicer. To finish it off, I gave them a rough chop and I was left with perfectly squared little steaks. For the onions, I'll be keeping the same way they do it in Philadelphia. Just cut them in squares and cook them until they are translucent. The only advice I would give you is that you have to use white sweet onions. From all the cheesesteak places I went to, that's the one they use. One of the most important things in Philadelphia cheesesteak is the bread. And they are using a French style bread. It is not crispy and it is not crunchy. It's actually chewy. Now to replicate that as much as I can, I got this beautiful French bread and stored them in a bag to remove the crunchiness. This resulted in a nice fluffy bread and when I take a bite on it mm, it's chewy and it takes me right back like if I was there since I'm doing two versions of this sandwich I'm also gonna be using a bread that I think will be ideal for it and it is Angel's favorite bread this is called Meanoche bread and it is very similar to a brioche bun it is soft buttery and lightly sweet and a lot of places here in Miami use this kind of bread for sandwich this is cheese whiz and they offer this in every place I went to I never had it in a sandwich before yes it is processed cheese. I know a lot of you might not enjoy it, but they have been doing this for years, and a lot of people do. So for my traditional version, I'm gonna be using this one. It is pretty straightforward, you just gotta put it in a pan and heat it up slowly. For my second version, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite cheese. This is provolone, and I think it goes wonderful with a Philly cheesesteak. Fat is also very important. I won't be using butter. Instead, I'm using beef tallow, which is beef fat. I'm gonna be cooking in super high heat temperatures and butter will just burn. But now that we have everything ready, it is time to get cooking, so let's do it. Real quick guys, a little word from today's sponsor, Audible. For a limited time, if you are an Amazon Prime member, you can start an Audible membership and save 66% on your first three months. A total of $30 off. That's like getting three months for the price of one. You'll pay $4.95 a month for the first three months. After that, it's only $14.95 a month. Offers only available July 1st to July 31st, 2019. 
Audible members get a credit every month, good for any audiobook in the store regardless of price and two Audible originals. This month, I chose this Next Generation Cookbook. Our Harlem, this book lets you get up close and personal with TV personality and restaurateur Marcus Samuelson. Our Harlem is an Audible original production that explores the rich culture and identity of Harlem through the food, culture, and the people who have made Harlem an iconic New York neighborhood. Each chapter is a day of the week where you explore themes like the Great Migration and Spanish Harlem in conversation with Harlem personalities like Bevy Smith, Dapper Dam, and Jelani Cobb. Visit audible.com slash Google Foods or text 500-500 to get that deal. So it's audible.com slash Google Foods or text 500-500. That's right. Now let's get right back to that Philly cheesesteak. Ooh, let's go. everybody we have our beautiful philly cheesesteaks here are you ready angel yeah i see you use the medianoche bread ah <laughs> down. i know that's angel's favorite bread i don't blame him like i explained it on the video yeah. it's kind of like a brioche bun it's fantastic enough talking let's try it huh? yeah it's we have like two sweet. kinds it's awesome let's go i'm going, I'm <laughs> going. you're gonna go for that one first bro oh yeah and i would go for the other one the, the one that you're grabbing but something happened there huh right uh, let's talk about that later <laughs> all right no <laughs> Let's talk about that right now. No, Angel. <laughs> yes, yes. Check out what this guy just decided to do while we were recording. Yo. I couldn't do. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. Unbelievable. Yo, what? Really? I turned around. See? I turned around. And it's okay. It's all new again, baby. Let's go. Guys, I'm sorry. I was hungry. Yes, I took a little bit because I couldn't hold it. All right. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Let's give this a try. You ready? Cheers. It's supposed to be nice and messy, Angel, the way it's supposed to be. Cheers, aye, buddy. Aye, go aye. for it. Wow. Come on, man. That's a good sandwich. Man, steak, cheese, onions, bread. Doesn't it get any better than that? Yeah. What? Steak, cheese. Medianoche bread, <laughs> no onions. There's a very big reason why Philly cheese steak in Philadelphia is popular. I'm not gonna say which one is better, Pats or Jim's. All of them are great, everybody. I think you have to experience it to find out which one you like best. I'm curious to find out how yours tastes, dude. Mm. Hmm? So good. It is good? Uh, it's a mess, though. <laughs> Hold on, let's try the other one. <laughs> I want you to try the other one. You tell me which one is better. You ready? All right. Cheers, everybody. Second one. I'm so sorry, but I like this one more. <laughs> this mayonnaise bread is incredible. A little sweetness. Yep. Yeah. And then the cheese itself, the one they use is just... The oh cheese is, yeah, maybe provolone is a little bit better than cheese whiz because the other one is just too salty. You know, that's why in uh, Pats, for example, I didn't see them seasoning the steak at all. They just put cheese whiz. I don't mm -hmm. think they season their steaks at all. So even though I seasoned this one here and put cheese whiz at the same time, this steak also got a little bit more brown parts, more burnt, so it has more yeah. caramelization on it. Look. Yeah, like, like a little crunch. This one is just a much better overall steak for me. However, the traditional one, still good too. You agree? It's still good. I'm not going <laughs> to It's still good. But you like this version this better. One, <laughs> this one is built. 
to my specifications. <laughs> to your likings. <laughs> to my likings. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Audible, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Guys, we'll see you on the next one. Oh, we gotta fly? Hold on. <laughs> we gotta fly? What's fly? Show me fly, Angel. I, I, I oh. made it leave. It let, yo, hey, relax. Look how good this works, everybody. You think I'm kidding? Watch this little piece. It is gone, baby. It is gone. This is amazing, and I recommend it. We out. Bye-bye. In case you didn't know, <laughs> it shoots salt. Yes. So, so that's, that's why he doesn't mind shooting the food with it. It's table salt. So you can actually shoot the steak itself. Gone. It's just going to taste a little bit more salty, bro. It's just going to be salty. <laughs> We out, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.